In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. As we gather again to celebrate God's presence through this Eucharist, to reach out to those who are not able to be with us here because of the virus, we ask that that presence truly encourage you and strengthen you as you continue to go forth to proclaim the gospel. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, ha Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal us of all wounds and divisions. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who raised up the Bishop St. Athanasius as an outstanding champion of your son's divinity, mercifully grant that rejoicing in his teaching and his protection, we may never cease to grow in knowledge and love of you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The readings will come from the memorial of St. Athanasius. So in case you have a missalette, they may refer you to Saturday of uh, the third week of Easter. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world, and the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Trust in the Lord and do good that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take the light in the Lord and he will grant you your heart's requests. The mouth of the just murmurs in wisdom. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as a noonday shall be your vindication. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just tells of wisdom, and his tongue utters what is right. The law of his God is in his heart, and his steps do not falter. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the twelve, You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. No disciple is above his teacher no slave above his master. It is enough for the disciple that he become like the teacher and the slave that, that he become like master. If they have called the master of the house of Beelzebub, how much more those of his household? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
always preparing a brief homily to uh, not only try to explain or how the scriptures are alive today for us, but it also brings me to a wall that I just quite can't see over to see the effects of our faith and our good works, what they actually affect, how they move people to do good things. The only thing I can definitely point to is all the many good things that I hear people do afterwards. I'm always amazed that when I was a teacher, how the young men that came to us in the high school seminary would blossom out to be wonderful gentlemen that if they were to go on and hopefully have, would have become priests, that they would have made good priests. For there were people that were caring and compassionate. And I would suspect that that's the case in this place. Those of you who are mothers and fathers, to not forget the good that you do in bringing a child into the world and to hopefully raise them with goodness, with love and compassion, and to trust that God has blessed them as well to make many good things happen, just as he blessed his son and gave him the power to endure even death, death on the cross, to rise to new life, which is a promise that made to us who believe in him. Following the example of St. Athanasius, who faithfully served the Lord and trusted in him throughout his life, we now bring our needs to God. For the leaders of the church, may the Holy Spirit continue to give them strength and grace in proclaiming the truth fearlessly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For political leaders, may God grant them courage in passing laws, protecting all life from the conception through natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from, from any addiction, may the hope of resurrection in Jesus Give them strength in their pursuit of healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community, may the Lord place his hand upon us and guide us in our service to the sick and oppressed or suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may they rest in the peace of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for their prayer intentions for this Mass, for all shrine pilgrims, and for the eternal repose of Sharon Hansen. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all the prayers sent to the Shrine and the Missionary Association of Mary Immaculate. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, we trust in your infinite goodness and love. Kindly hear our prayers which we ask in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the offerings we present to you in commemoration of St. Athanasius, and may witnessing to your truth bring salvation to those who profess, as he did, an unblemished faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is a sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy every land, every people, exalting your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy 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 lord lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Apostolic Administrator, Joseph Michael, our Bishop-elect, and Stanley, our Bishop-in-residence, and all the clergy and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Eugene, St. Athanasius, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer to the now a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Almighty God, that the true divinity of your only begotten Son, which we firmly profess with St. Athanasius, may through this sacrament ever give us life and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.